a blessed day to all of you, dear friends, and also those who are uh, joining us through this live stream. We continue our reflection on the first reading, one of the most important, famous part of the letter of Paul to the Corinthians. At the center of this is the so-called uh, uh, the holy tradition of the Eucharistic meal of the Lord. Uh, what Jesus did and what is the meaning of this for the Christians of that time and for all times. We have to understand a little bit the uh, practice of the early church regarding the Eucharist, that it is not like what we have now, the Eucharist has stylized already, only commemorating the words of Jesus no, at Last Supper, but rather it was placed within a, an agape, a community meal, like fiesta, and within this meal would form part now the so-called that what we have now, the Eucharist, and uh, it was within that situation that uh, of community meal that Paul saw the the uh, the division differences within this community. Now some were left hungry because others already ate or the more uh, wealthy members of the community would have eaten already and so there was a kind of a division within this Christian community. And Paul would use precisely the image of this Eucharist, Jesus giving of himself no? as a reflection, as a model to correct that division within this particular Christian community. So he would remember, and thanks to this remembrance that uh, Paul did that we have, for example, a clear tradition, holy tradition of what Jesus did, that on the night before he, he died, he sat, no? he took bread, etc. This is a, would become for Paul the model and the core of Christian worship that should become also, that should interrogate always Christian communities, Christian assemblies, just as Jesus gave himself freely, generously as food for everyone, for those who believe, then Christian communities should promote this fraternity, this equality among its members. And uh, the Eucharist would serve as a constant challenge for all of us who participate in the Eucharist, that the Eucharist becomes a model for our communal living in our, especially in our relating with one another. There is that uh, uh, other dimension also of this uh, holy tradition that uh, it would uh, emphasize, for example, this life-giving covenant, eternal, new and eternal covenant that Jesus offered superseding the old covenant of blood at Sinai 
now it is this self-giving of Jesus the new covenant the ratification of the new covenant with his own blood as we celebrate the Eucharist that sometimes we take it for granted that sometimes we we are so distracted with our celebrations and we forget that this is the gift of Christ of himself on the cross may we come to a greater understanding and appreciation of Christ self-giving in the Eucharist and this may serve us in our life as Christians and in our relationship with one another creating communities of equality of fraternity Amen.